Hi everybody. So today I want to talk about clothing and nudity. Um, I'm essentially a nudist, which is to say that um, in hot weather I try to wear as little as possible. Um, I'm usually walking around my apartment in box shorts. Um, and when I go outside I usually just like to wear um, underwear and then shorts on top and take my shirt off especially if I'm um, playing a sport. Now obviously that's not socially acceptable to walk around with your shirt off in stores um, or just on the street but when I'm at the beach or um, playing a sport in the warm sun I like to take my shirt off. Um, I feel really comfortable with my body. So um, this video is about clothing and nudity. Um, I like to uh, have some nudity in my video because for me um, physical nudity is about um, getting closer to the soul. Uh, the body is a metaphor for the soul. It's a container for the soul and the soul shines through the body. Um, so a person can be physically beautiful, conventionally beautiful, but if their soul is not vital and alive, then um, they won't be a pleasure to interact with. They, they won't be an interesting person. Um, so uh, clothing has several functions in society. It protects us from cold weather. It's a form of shelter. Um, it supports parts of us that hang, for example, testicles or breasts, especially when we need to move quickly. So um, a bra supports the breasts and um, underwear supports the testicles. Um, in the case of leakage of liquids, um, underwear is very helpful um, in order not to put wet spots in different places, uh, both for men and for women. Um, clothing has a decorative function, of course, and it also um, provides a way of determining gender. Traditionally it has done this, but in more and more countries, um, of course, women are free to wear whatever they want, and so they, um, they dress as a man, that is to say, in, in shirt and pants, and men are beginning to feel more free about presenting in feminine ways wearing a dress. Um, in Scotland it's common or at least acceptable for men to wear kilts. Um, and as people are ad identifying with more of a variety along the gender spectrum, um, they're also presenting in a variety of, of ways, of blended ways. And this is what I'm trying to do for myself as well. I'm growing my hair out a little bit and I'm shaving my face um, more often than I normally would. Um, so, uh, clothing has several functions, and one of them is to distinguish gender. In fact, it's a way of policing gender, I would say, and tends to be a way of maintaining um, binary genders. Um, uh, in my videos, um, I'm drawing on a tradition of nudity in painting. Uh, there's the male nude as well as the female nude, and um, so I'll show various parts of my body and my skin, um, arms, chest, um, legs, and I'm, I'm really interested in the beauty of the body. Um, not necessarily my body, it's just that um, my body was available to play with. But uh, I love watching dance, for example, and um, so in my videos sometimes there's music playing and, and the character will be moving their body in response to the music. I'm really interested in, in how that happens and, and how the, mo the body moves in gendered ways. So often I will be um, portraying a, um, well I'll be portraying a feminine character and um, you'll see me move in ways that are considered typically feminine. Um, sometimes my feminine, my women characters, 
uh, present as a man, either for role play or for fun, or both. And so I have a few videos of that nature. Um, so, yeah, let me just um, check my notes. I made a few notes about clothing. I want to make sure I say everything. Um, oh yeah, clothing is also distinguishes us from the animals. Right? Animals don't wear clothes. And uh, I feel like for a long time, part of the dignity of humans, the way they've considered themselves as separate from the animals and superior to the animals, is that we have clothes. And so there's this notion that certain parts of the body need to be covered up. Um, animals don't have that, that idea about their bodies. They, they expose their whole bodies. But for some reason, humans, um, not just for functional reasons, but related to morality, have decided to cover up the genitals in particular, and for women, also the breasts in public places. So a number of my videos play with this idea using a bikini top or a bra. Um, everybody knows I'm um, a man, I identify as a man and as gender fluid, but I inhabit a male body, and so it would be completely acceptable for me to go to the beach in Speedos, um, or or just wear shorts while playing tennis and not wear a top. So um, I'm playing with the signifier of the bra or the bikini top. Um, I would like society to move away from this idea that parts of the body have to be covered up. Um, we're, we're animals. Humans are animals. And we should feel as comfortable being naked um, in an ideal world. We should feel love for our body, support, and affirmation for our body, um, just as the animals do, not think twice about our bodies. So um, this connection between humans and animals, I think, is important. Um, yeah, clothing is used as a form of individual expression, and uh, I think this is wonderful, but we can get carried away with it, you know, with makeup, um, accessories, and so on. For example, drag queens are often not critical of capitalism, um, particularly successful drag queens. I haven't seen them present videos that aim to deconstruct the beauty industry or show how problematic the, the beauty industry is. The idea that we have to wear makeup to amplify our features in order to attract other people is a very problematic idea. Um, the idea that we have to show parts of ourselves or, or kind of reveal parts of ourselves that are, are generally considered taboo in order to attract attention um, is also problematic. So um, I believe that clothing can be a real, a true representation of the soul um, when intentionally chosen. But um, it, it, there are lots of ways to um, I guess use clothing in a way that um, has a certain goal in mind, which is um, uh, which which may have to do with improving our self-esteem, um, you know, buttressing our self-esteem rather than genuinely expressing our personality and our soul. Um, so, uh, I think drag is a wonderful thing, don't get me wrong, but um, fully to buy into the beauty industry and um, the culture of putting on makeup, um, I know it helps a lot of people to feel better about themselves. And I guess we're all ideally trying to get to a place where we don't need that kind of um, buttressing in order to feel better. Um, of course, I understand it. Um, and I even have participated it, in it to some extent with the videos that I've made. But I think it's important to at the same time critique it. It's fine to, to participate in it, but I think it's also important to, to um, recognize and to state how how damaging and how dependent we could be on, on the beauty industry. Um, so yeah, to wrap up, um, clothing 
I generally wear clothing as a form of comfort and protection from the elements, but uh, I feel I'm essentially a nudist. Um, I don't go to nude beaches very often because the closest one is a little bit out of the way. Um, but uh, but I love wearing the few clothing, as, as little clothing as, as I can in general. Um, and I generally think of it as a hassle to go shopping for clothes. So um, in my videos, if you see me wearing relatively little clothes, um, to me that's a normal state. I'm not trying to be uh, provocative. Uh, but I do recognize there is a history of the nude in, in painting, and um, and my videos are, are part of that um, long-standing tradition of representing the nude, um, problematizing it, um, deconstructing what's called the male gaze and objectification. But, um, but I think we shouldn't throw out the baby with the bathwater. Like there's a lot of beauty um, related to the to the naked body. And as I say, the naked body is a is a sign for the the soul. And as we take off clothes, we take off um, barriers and protections for our soul. Thanks for watching.